We wrote these in fifth grade, and our teacher at the time gave them back to us when we graduated high school. Basically, we wrote letters telling where we seen ourselves when we graduated and what was gonna go on. He makes a plan to marry Savannah and Natalie. And on mine, I put, also when I grow up, I want to marry Tanner Carroll. I just think fifth grade Tanner and Savannah would be so proud of us right now. <laughs> I'm so glad we kept these. It is my honor and pleasure to make a, a welcoming speech uh, tonight, and uh, we welcome everyone to this beautiful event. And um, if you don't know, I'm Greg Nunnally, the father of the bride. Growing up, you, you know, I, I had a nickname for Span, and it was just Sugar Bear. And, and, and somewhere along the line, I, I never uh, sensed that she outgrew that. And kind of over time, she's grown to just my Shug. She was flying to Florida for the first time alone, and I was there to greet her when she got off the plane. I just had this uh, sign that said just Shug on it, and, uh, you know, I, I stood there with a bunch of flowers, and, um, you know, the, the crowd just kind of came over to me and said, you know, who should? And I said, this is my daughter. And they were all excited. I could kind of feel the, the warmth of their excitement. And the next question was, you know, when's the last time you saw her? And I said, Thursday. And I just, <laughs> and they just, you know, they disappeared on me. Oh, he put the little thing that I put online. <laughs> okay. Dear Savannah, first I want to say thank you. Thank you for being exactly what <laughs> what I imagined you'd be when I wrote the letter somewhat similar to this one in school. You have been the greatest gift. You make me so proud to be your soon-to-be husband. <laughs> that still blows my mind. I've wanted that for as long as I can remember. It's always been you. Can't look sure in cursive. <laughs> Can't read. Dear Tanner, happy wedding day. We always knew this day would come. Here we are. Fifth grade, Tanner and Savannah would be so proud of us right now. I vow to always cherish our friendship that we have built as children and be the best friend that you deserve in a wife. This life is about to get so good. See you soon at the altar. Don't walk your knees. Miss Carol. <laughs> also, my gift to you is to include me, Mom. I want you to wear these cufflinks today so you know she is right with you. You know she couldn't be any happier than she is today. She would be so proud of the man you have become. Savannah, I got to hear things about you that he was probably too nervous to say in the beginning. But I can sum it up this way. He has wanted this day to happen since day one of you all being together. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for a beautiful day that you've given us. for a beautiful bride and a handsome groom. And Lord, we ask that your presence would be upon them, that you would lead and guide them through their endeavors together in their lives. Lord, we thank you again for all that you've done. Turn me into the woman I have 
good morning to be, and I cannot thank you enough. Savannah would give you the shirt off her back and the last dime to her name if that meant she was able to help someone. She's selfless. And another word to describe Savannah is dependable. And I thank God for her because in each chapter of life, she's always been dependable. Not the best texter, but dependable. <laughs> To my daughter, uh, though others won't see me, you'll feel me by your side, keeping you steady, down the aisle will stride. You'll feel my kiss on your cheek as I give you away. Just know I'm next to you on your wedding day, for I couldn't imagine you having this day without me being a part, because I'm the man who has loved you the most right from the start. Tanner Carroll, do you take Savannah to be your lawful wife till death separates you? I do. Savannah Nunley, do you take Tanner to be your lawful husband till death separates you? I do. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Tanner Carroll. I couldn't imagine two people who are happier and more deserving of each other than you two. You all both deserve the best and found in one another. And I know in my heart that will carry on for years to come. So if everybody can raise a glass and give a cheers to Tanner and Savannah and for bringing in life together. I've watched you two grow so much over the past five years and I can wholeheartedly say I can see the love you two have for each other and it's something special. I've watched Tanner listen, value, respect, and love Savannah through the best, worst, and craziest moments of our lives and he has done it with grace. Tanner, I know with all my heart you'll take care of her and love her endlessly each and every day. Let us continue our yearly spring break girl trips and always look forward to seeing me fly up y'all's driveway <laughs> laying on my horn. Music blaring pump to see my best friend. And you know, now you too.
just not too long ago, it seems like I was sitting in a room with 300 mothers and daughters in, in Chicago, and we um, <laughs> had our dolls sitting at the table. It's absurd. And we just got our hair done and had a photo session and we were getting ready to have a tea and you know amongst 300 people and here i sit tonight with the same little girl and uh you know amongst 300 people and, and i just you know i was sitting there and i was thinking the same exact thing that i was back then and it was like how am i going to pay for this <laughs> 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 <laughs>